Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn the Quantum Queen. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and is always welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, and the message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. They're just about to open up. So feel free to check out the website for when that opens up. Oh man, that is an awesome combo. Um, or you guys can subscribe to my website and I'll send out a huge email blast. And uh, what else do I say? Oh yeah, and as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I was going to show you guys, but the Queen of Wands was on the bottom. And I always see this as more of like the King of Wands because it's so fiery. But I want to see what pops out. Okay, Aquarius. Well, I'm going to take those three. All right. You guys know the spiel. Don't get caught up by genders at all. Okay, you got the mask and the king. All right. Archetypally. Okay, so what do I want to say with this? Um, right now, I kind of get this sense. Like, what I'm actually kind of hearing is there's like a ghost with unfinished business. And maybe that's your own. And I, I hate saying these things. I know, like, readers say unfinished business. But... There's a little bit of maybe unfulfilled energy inside of you, Aquarius, okay? Um, just because of the mask and the king, like it could be another person, maybe another masculine or someone with very masculine energy, but here's the thing too. There could be um, a connection possibly that comes in or that you have been masking yourself a little bit from. Like, there could be something about your energy a little bit, Aquarius, where you're holding back from truly being who you are and doing exactly what you want to do because there could be some type of, like, powerful, more masculine energy that seems a bit more dominant that's coming in. And you might not even be totally aware of it. There might be, like, this could be a more authoritative figure, like, say, a parent or a boss or maybe even a relationship for some of you guys, a friendship or a lover, whoever it is. There could just be more of a dominant energy and you feel like you need to kind of, like, be just a tad incognito. And it's really, like, splitting you just a little bit because um, here you are. It's all like... In some situations or relationships, you can actually be who you are. And there you are. This is such an Aquarius kind of card because there you are, like super bright, crazy, weird, um, just like quirky, if you guys are, just you, where you can just naturally be yourself. And you are good at doing that. But then on the other side of things, there's like a certain environment or... Um, that you have to kind of filter that out. Like you have to kind of dial that down or keep it a little bit low key or um, tone it down. I would stay aware of that. Like it could just be even an environment, but look how crazy it is that there's someone here even that I'm seeing. Look at the difference here because the king, the king over here, see how it's a little bit darker inside but there's this brightness all around that's kind of what i'm seeing with this person is that inside this is where it might be a little bit deceptive is that on the outside they shine in some way shape or form but it could be a little bit like a used car salesman where on the outside it seems super flashy amazing charismatic delightful maybe even very attractive but on the inside there's something similar and so isn't it interesting that that entanglement could be influencing you in some way shape or form so it could be all about observing that seeing it for what it is and then making the necessary steps that you want to or feel that you need to take to come into your full authenticity 
being exactly who you are in all environments and relationships in your life, okay? Because the temperance card is coming in. There's a, maybe a situation or something coming in to temper that energy out because this type of like back and forth, it won't maintain for very long. Like sometimes a tower moment can come in from that because if you feel like, let's say for some reason too, I kind of see this as like, ups and downs in moods and emotions you know what i mean like i don't want to say bipolar but i do for some reason well and i just did so there it is but to me bipolar it's such a weird thing how we've labeled all these stupid things to me they're just like ups and downs in your energy and that's why you'll want to find things to slowly level it out you know just make the energy temper and balance that's why i love the temper the temperance card yeah, it is about patience, but it's you can take the reins to really temper that energy for your, for yourself. You know, self-care, meditation, all that good stuff. And then here you've got the two players, Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords, all right? Now, interesting. I'm going to go along with this, that this is you. Because for some reason, Aquarius, like, again, like I said, don't get caught up by the gender, but... I always put these two cards together and for some reason, I don't know why I'm seeing it like this, but I kind of see that there's someone here, super intuitive, all right? And you have to be cautious though. Like this does feel just a tad bit supernatural on the supernatural side. And maybe that's even you, Aquarius. Like you, Aquarius do tend to be psychic and intuitive but they're also very analytical so the way that they calculate things is that they use their intuition but sometimes they can calculate outcomes like just based off of analyzing a certain person's patterns because people do work in patterns emotionally and so sometimes you can like predict a, a person's like emotional outburst or things like that you know what i mean so you could be just super observing this person <laughs> queen of swords like you're looking i don't know there's just something here and with the queen of swords too you're like maybe going through a transformation through this whole relationship and situation let me see what comes out here Ah, that was the one. Look at it. So first card out, we've got the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer just in case, but there's gonna be a lot of like forward movement that comes in for you over the next week. It also could be, ah, didn't I get this? Yeah, I got this in your guys' quantum leap reading. You got the chariot first out. So there could be something really significant about a lot of movement is coming in for you guys. You guys know my saying, hold on to your knickers because it is going to pick up. What have you got next? Okay. You have got, all right. Okay, this is side, this is different. So I'm just gonna go along with what's popping out. Okay, you've got the justice card. There could be a lot of forward movement that comes in once you kind of come to the realization about maybe this relationship or this situation and how it could have been kind of like your blind spot that it was slowly influencing you more and more. And once you actually take the movement to get in yourself back into balance through also this process, so don't skip steps like, especially with the Queen of Cups, just that's very intuitive too. It's not high priestess, but you've got your intuitive abilities that are gonna be telling you. And But I feel like you're gonna have to temper out your emotions and the energy to actually hear some type of direction or whatever that you need to do. And then you've got the two of cups. So there's some type of relationship coming in. And that's why I was like, this is different. <laughs> Cause the page of cups, that's an, that feels like a new person. I feel like it's kind of, this is what I talk, why I talk about everything in video game language and lingo, because you've got this forward movement that will happen once you start to like 
you get really excited because once you balance out this energy, there's going to be this huge sense of accomplishment that comes. And that's actually always what happens. Whenever you start to like overcome your shadow, when you do something to overcome yourself, you get this like elevation in your energy. You get this positive burst of, you know, dopamines and serotonin and all of this delicious chemical release that happens inside of your body. And then once you go through this elevation and then you get to the justice where the energy balances out and you feel like, okay, yeah, I feel really good. There's a relationship that'll come, come in. Always, it's always what will happen. Now, here's what I'm gonna tell you too, because with the Page of Cups, it will all depend on your guys' situation because this is a general reading, but this is like, just don't get caught up in fantasies. So I don't know if this is the other person or the if this is you, but it feels like there might be a person that starts like fantasizing a little bit, either about you or you them, okay? And there could be a titch of an entanglement there, but with the Eight of Swords, <laughs> I feel like... Um, you might start to overanalyze them. It might bring up a bit of a trigger point or sometimes the way that I view this, especially in an Aquarius reading, is that there could be a fear that comes up for you about becoming stuck. So there could be someone that's like reaching out and giving some type of emotions, but this is, yeah, like overanalyzing and trying to like, there's this fear of maybe revealing certain things. And then you feel like, because that happens when you reveal certain things emotionally, because this is vulnerability right there. And then there's always like the overanalyzing fear that you might be taken advantage of because it's vulnerable. So don't let your mind go crazy because it, it might. Okay. And then we have the five of wands. So I'm wondering if that's the thing that you might get up in your head about is that like there could be some conflict that you're trying to predict you're trying to like, and I would take a look at what that is because it's probably tied to your shadow. Like fascinatingly, going back to the mask, there could be something about your shadow that makes you like go back to your childhood. Cause every time I see the five of wands to me, it goes back to having competitive siblings, you know, like trying to reach towards something first or trying to get the attention of parents over you. So it's a lot of like really weird shadow stuff. So I would take a look at that, especially if you feel like that might not be for all of you, but if that comes up, I would just kind of um, take a seat back to that in your consciousness, you know, be really more of the observer rather than getting wrapped up and stuck into your thoughts that might come in about this connection. Okay. But I'll dive into the extended. We'll see whatever other messages want to come out. So Aquarius, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free, go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things. I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing y'all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.